It's getting near dawn. Hey, Owl Man. When nights grow, I had some pink last night, Owl Man. I'm telling you, it was, it was some freaky, freaky things. So, like this Navajo desert sunset landscape. But for me, the real cosmic connection is white light. You know, it's, 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 it opens the door, man. It, it opens it wide open, and then it's like, it's like I'm sailing down some Mexique bay. White lightning, man. And may I interest you in a little after dinner sacrament? Far out. I've been waiting so long to be where I'm going in the sunshine of your life. Keep an eye out for the owner. Don't worry, I'm the owner. The light shining through one. Oh, it's free. It's the morning just we two. I'll stay with you, darling, now. Hey, it's Jimi Hendrix, man. Hey, Jimmy, what's happening? The name's Emmett. Oh, that's cool, Mr. Hendricks. You want to go incognito, that's all right with me. Oh, man. I'll leave him play guitar. It's a cool disguise. Oh, thanks for the trip, man. Hey, Katie. This is Jim. Emmy. Sorry, incognito. What's your sign? Scorpio. Oh, far out. Me too. I knew that. Far out. A couple of brothers like to talk to you. Huey. I'm Bobby. What's happening? You know, going with it, dancing with a white bitch. You don't like sisters? Oh, bro, sisters are fine. You trying to lay a trip on somebody? Picked the wrong man. Just brother. Just pride. I mean, look at yourself. Look at us. Now, who looks like the white man's clown? We don't blame you if you're scared. Every time a black man tries to show his pride, the pig takes him down. I've been there. I ain't scared. Then you're just the brother we're looking for. Washington for the March in the Pentagon. And I told you, you aren't. Not as long as you live in this house. Michael. Michael, your brother's putting his life on the line in Vietnam. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm ashamed of my country for putting him in that position. It's not our war. Ashamed of your country? Is that why I'm paying your tuition? So you can turn into some kind of hippie dropout? No, Michael. You can keep on defying me. But if you go on that march, I cannot have you live in my house. Your house? I always thought it was our house. We're going to get the Pentagon to rise in the air, and we're going to assemble a mass of holy men, and the Pentagon is going to rise into the air on October 21st. Vietnam is not our war! We must say no!
Hey, how you doing? Hell of an attraction, huh? Soldiers We're against the war. And where will she go? What shall she go against the soldiers? When it's not coming around. She turned once more to Sunday's cloud and cried. That was really cool, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Just wanted to, um, add my praise to the chorus. What you did today. That was fantastic. Oh, Michael, you, you kept a lot. You kept a lot of people from getting hurt out there. Mostly I was thinking about one of them. I think they, they would have started clubbing people or... That's what they do. That's why I couldn't believe Kenny put you up front. That was crazy. No, it's, it's not crazy. It's what gets on the news. What doesn't get on the news doesn't count. The proceeding has been a paid political announcement by Kenny Klein. I truly believe he's going to change the world. Yeah, well, you all get your heads no, kicked No, that's in. not true, Michael. He cares about people, OK? He cares about every one of us. In the us. abstract. No, you know what? You don't even know him. Well, I know you're not a being dozen fair. guys just like him. They all love humanity, except face to face.
was love. Maybe it's... Maybe it's just easier for some people to give themselves over to a cause. Sure. Broken heads heal. Broken hearts. I'm talking about ideals, Michael. No, we're just talking about ideas. I'm talking about people. Two people. Some money. I don't think it's enough, but it's uh, six bucks, I think. That's all you got? <clears throat> yeah, well, I know it's a drag, but you can take it. I thought you guys had a lot of gigs. Yeah, but we mostly play for drinks and stuff like that. Plus, I just bought that lid. It's really good stuff. Do you want some of it? No, I don't want some of it. I need to get medicine. Well, that guy from KSAN, you know, he, he, he really likes her stuff. Maybe we could get some money gigs from him. Did you ever think about maybe getting a real job? Oh, come on. Are you going to bum me out of her jobs again, Katie? Oh, man. My shaman told me to avoid all bad vibes. We gotta fill these petitions if we wanna get McCarthy on the ballot for Illinois. Be polite, explain our opposition to the war, and don't freak out the middle class. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amanda Stone, Northwestern students for McCarthy. I, I got assigned to you guys. Hi, I'm uh, Mike Hurley, Loyola. I'm Mindy Twist, Jake Stein, University of Chicago. John Denny, dropout. Uh, political activist, please. Nice to meet you. This is your first time? Yes, you've got a virgin here. We'll be gentle. Kathy, I said as we bought a degree. Yeah, I'm picking her beard out. Take care of it. Okay. This shipping seems like a dream to me now. Hi, my name is John Denny. And I wanted to talk to you today about Eugene McCarthy and why he deserves your vote in the Democratic primary. Vote for Gene. Would you mind doing my laundry? Give me that. Give you. You know, I always imagined something a little more Jackie Kennedy for my life. You don't think she does John John's laundry? Oh, I'm sure she does. You want to sign the petition? Whatever it is, you know what your father would say. What about what you want to say? Or does that not matter? Of course it does. But I've tried my whole life to make our home as pleasant a place as possible. Not every issue is worth fighting for. Mom, this is for McCarthy. To end the war, to get Brian back home. Is that worth fighting for? Home! There's a letter from Brian. Listen to this. Dear Mom and Dad, I hear the news on TV sounds pretty grim. Don't believe it. This ain't a Hilton, but I'm warm and dry. And compared to what Dad went through, Quezon's a walk in the park on a sunny day. See you all in about six months. Have you heard from Katie? Love to all, Brian. 
Did you hear that? He's just fine. What do you think of that, Mr. Clean for Gene? What the hell is that? My name. I can see that. On a McCarthy petition? What the hell is going on here? You know, Bill, you have your opinions. And I respect those opinions, even if I don't always agree with them. And I expect you to show me that same kind of respect. The most intelligent volunteers in the history of American politics. Spare change? Spare change? Spare change? Bummer, huh? Spare change? Used to be you could get whatever you needed right here on the streets. Not now, man. It's, it's gotten really weird. It's gotten really dark. It used to be like somewhere over the rainbow here, you know? Now it's just somewhere. You have to be careful, man. I mean, Spare change? got to be really careful because, you know, they're cutting the stuff. It's, it's, it's evil, man. It's evil. No, it's not for me, OK? I just need to get some money to turn the gas back on and get some decent food because my baby is sick, OK? I just need money. A spare change? Negativity. Negativity. There's this place. It can make $10 an hour. Maxes. What do I have to do? Dance? I can dance. Just close your eyes and feel the love. Despite all of our reports of progress, of government strength, and of enemy weakness, that half a million American soldiers with 700,000 Vietnamese allies, that we are unable to secure even a single city from the attacks of an enemy whose total strength is about 250,000. With America's sons in the fields far away, with America's future under challenge right here at home, with our hopes and the world's hopes for peace and the balance every day. I do not believe that I should devote an hour or a day of my time to any personal partisan causes or to any duties other than the awesome duties of this office, the presidency of your country. Accordingly, I shall not seek and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. God, I can't believe it. But let men everywhere <laughs> know, however, that a strong, and a confident, I love you. And a vigilant American stands ready tonight. Got a towel in the dark.
great work. The crowd really liked it and appreciated it. There's a customer on six that'd like to thank you personal. How personal? Oh, relax. It's a public place. It just goes with the job, you know. I just smile, make nice. Come on. You know, you are truly beautiful. What's this for? Gesture of appreciation. How much you want for a private show? I already did my show. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. To me. I'm gonna make you a promise, okay? But it's just between you and me and God. I'm gonna take this money and I'm gonna find us a clean bed just for tonight, okay? And then I'm gonna find us a warm, safe place to stay for as long as we want. I don't know where, but we are never going to spend another night on a stranger's couch or on the street, okay? I promise you that, you with me? I swear to God.
is an office I can get some work done in. As this is President Grayson Kirk, and I hereby resign, hold all my calls. Let's see what's on the agenda, boys. Oh, yes. Presents for the family. Here you go, kids. Wake up. Smoke them if you got them. Of course, a couple for uh, Grayson himself. Sarah, Sarah, very nice. Uh, Sherry, darling. Oh, yes, OK, Sarah, I got a very important job for you. Uh, I want you in charge of the mail committee. The what? Uh, the mayonnaise can We got hundreds of people to feed here, you know? Oh, mayonnaise, right. Screw you, Kenny. No, this is a very important job. You've got to keep it cool, know how long it's been open. You know, that, that spoils. This whole strike is over. I'm serious. This is a life and death assignment. And you, you, and uh, you, I want you hot dog committee, pizza committee, hamburger committee. Come on, people. And I hereby declare this building liberated. <laughs> Responsibly. To, yes, to live, to act as a good neighbor, to live up to the high ideals that have been the school's primary franchise since it was created in 1754. Now that is hardly revolutionary. What? The Alumni Association wants a list of demands. Okay, they think they can help get the administration to listen. The Alumni Association of, of Columbia, that, that's that's a big deal to you. I've got NBC out here, Sarah. All right? <laughs> the New York Times, they want a story. Abby Hoffman's called three times. All right, the SDS at Berkeley, now they want to know what they can do, okay? So the, the Alumni Association, I don't know, let me think. Yeah, they're going to have to wait in line. And to be honest, so are you right now. Okay, what? Do you, do you, have, do you have something to say? You want to talk to the press here? What if I do? <laughs> that is, that, that's really difficult for you to imagine, isn't it, Kenny? You think, no, mayonnaise, that's pretty much it for me. Because I've been doing this for a while, too, Kenny, so yeah. Yes, I've got some things to say. But no one gets a chance to talk while you're around. You know what? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't have time to talk about this right now, this crap. I've got that list of demands from, from, from who? The Alumni Association. Yeah. So.
going on those steps, you are exercising our right to free assembly and the police, they just assaulted us. Did you provoke this attack? No! What? Shh. Look, we didn't come here to tear down a great university. We're here to build a greater one. Who's that? Columbia's president might live in a mansion. His bedroom window overlooks a ghetto. A ghetto which he has helped create through unfair labor practices. We came here to get an education. And have we ever? We have learned that those who run this university care only about money. And the same disease that has infected our university has infected our whole entire society. Justice and freedom are the only cure up against the wall, mother! Fly us to Woodstock, New York, in our own commercial astrojet. So what do they want us to do? Hey, we're the hog farm. We'll feed them body and soul. And they want us to do some kind of security. Well, how are we supposed to do that, man? Cream pies and seltzer bottles. Hey, Katie! Michael Rainbow! You guys can pull up to the barn! Katie, welcome to the hog farm. You're feeling all right. Welcome home. I'm not feeling too good myself. Well, you're feeling all right. Ew. See, there's no refined sugars. That's why it tastes kind of sawdusty at first. Ew. But you get used to it. Do you want to help out? I'm afraid I'm not much of a cook. Oh. Well, there's sewing, cleaning, Pulling weeds. What? Women's work. I'm closer to Chicago than I thought. <laughs> what do the guys do around here? Well, they just do their thing. Are you telling me you can't tell the difference between 300 porta potties and 300 cucumbers? Wahoo. I'm trying to get a concept across to you here. Oh, boy, those look good. <laughs> you okay? Oh. You know, I just realized that I have been holding my breath for the past three years. <laughs> I know. I know. But our hero's home now. And everything's gonna be fine. From here on in.
Hello. Hey, hi, it's me. Uh, it's Michael. Michael, hey. God, feels like it's been forever. I saw that thing at Columbia. That was cool. Oh, I can't believe you actually saw that. Yeah. So I just wanted to touch base. Um, everything good? Yeah, everything's great. It's good. How about you? Good. So, um, did you see Kennedy at the garden? No, I missed it. Oh, it's too bad. Are you coming here for the convention? No, I don't know. It depends on school. You know. How's Kenny? Okay. I miss you too, Michael. I hope I can get there. to clean for Gene. Decide you want your vote to count? Now that's radical. How's Bri? Good. He's good. Self-defense calls upon the American people in general and the black people in particular to take careful note of the racist California legislature, which is now considering legislation aimed at keeping the black people disarmed and powerless at the very same time racist police agencies throughout the country are intensifying the terror brutality murder and repression of black people still don't see why the Panthers should go to chicago at all it's not the black democratic convention besides the only issue they're concerned with is the war that's not our issue it's everyone's issue Peace is where the revolution starts. It could change the economy of this whole country, which is what we are trying to do. Oh, brother, please. Do you really think any whites in the movement see peace in those terms? I don't think they consider the impact on blacks at all. No, you're thinking that blacks are only being colonized, but it's everyone, the whole country. Besides, the convention is big time. We could use some of that right now. You get a chance to meet Fred Hampton. I was a campaign manager eight years ago. I know what a difference that kind of an effort and that kind of commitment makes. So I thank all of you. But now it's on to Chicago and let's win there. of the state, swelling the count which the senator had established in this state only two days ago. He won the election, tasted briefly the satisfying fruits of achievement, and then lost his life. How do I look? 
You look like the circus left town and forgot the clowns. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, Mom. How are you? Mm. How's my boy? Well, who's your candidate this week? Nixon? Because if you keep it up, that's what you're going to get, you know. Is that what you want? Nixon? I'm not looking for a fight, Dad. I just came to give Bri a ride to the VA. Hey, Bri! Why don't you uh, get cleaned up and come with me? Come on. You know, it's kind of a circus, but uh, it's democracy in action. It's what you fought for. I need my appointment today. Okay. We are a people. We are all together. We are all under attack. America has decided to devour its youth. We will resist. We will not participate in America's Children for Breakfast program. Chicago just to sing In a land that's known as freedom How can such a thing be fair? Won't you please come to Chicago For the help that we can bring We can tell Uh, I need you to make up a couple hundred copies of these. I thought you already had these. No, no, somebody screwed up. Thanks. Hi, Kenny. Hey, man. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Michael, how you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Sarah here? Uh, yeah, somewhere. Hold on. Bobby Seal, Kenny Klein. Thank you for coming, man. We're going to put you on, right? Kevin Seal will only be here a couple of hours. Now he's agreed to live in time for support against the war. We just have to decide when he speaks. Oh, excuse me, Kenny. Uh, okay, that, that's fine. I'll talk to you in a second. Yeah, what? Well, I daily really want to extend the park permit. It expires at 11 o'clock. So? Screw the permit. We've got bodies, lots of them. This is supposed to be a peaceful protest. Anything besides that, we're going to lose the center liberals. No, that is exactly the point, Tom. We need to radicalize the center left. Now, who better to polarize the undecided than a pig with a billy club? Oh, you're making a decision here that affects the welfare of a lot of people who haven't agreed to any such thing. Okay, so then we do nothing, and we let the Vietnamese wake up to another day of napalm and carpet bomb. We should take a vote. We do not have time for a vote. You want to tell these people they can't do anything about their government killing well, people keep beings? fighting. Who's stopping the war? Ryan, what are you doing here? Thought I'd catch a little democracy in action. Doesn't look that good. You're exactly right. You're a vet, right? Well, soldier, this is a voice we need to hear. I'm going to put you on first. All right, follow me, Brian. Uh, uh, hold, 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 hold on. I don't know. I don't know. That's such a good idea. No, this is not an idea. You just tell the people what you know. Okay, wait, wait here for one second. Jamie, uh, we're going to have our first speaker as a vet oh. against the you war. You're going to want to film this, you. okay? Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Okay. You've heard a lot of us speak out against the war. But there are new voices that must be heard. The voices of America's fighting men. Now here's someone who'd like to talk to you. Sergeant Brian Hurley. Which one? I don't think that we should, uh... <clears throat> None of us want to be there. I, I know that. It's just, uh... It's just hard to explain very well. M my dad, he was a Marine, so I, I just thought that I would... Play football right here, right at O'Dowd. This is just gonna be like another game. Something we could win. I didn't know when I went. I...
I didn't know when I signed up that, uh... department in this country shouldn't have to be subjected to this kind of abuse. What are we coming to as a society? What are we coming to as a country? Climb tree, worked our way down the city of Way. Crazy. Has come for honest government in the United States of America. I pledge to you tonight that the first priority foreign policy objective of our next administration will to be bring an honorable end to the war in Vietnam. Yes. What? You want to get out of this thing? It's either you or that guy right there. God, I should have volunteered a couple years ago, you know? You could get out with flat feet, but then now you just show up and you're in. So what do you think? Next. CO, huh? C stands for chicken, right? Where's your draft card? Burned it. My brother died in Nam for scum like you. Mine too. They just haven't buried his body yet. Save your speeches for you, CO, here in Gandhi. Next. Can you tell how attracted I am to you right now? Because you, you make me want to see I'm already spoken for, sweetie. I appreciate that. Appreciate your candor. Sarah Weinstock, Federal Bureau of Investigation. We're looking for Kenneth R. Klein. Excuse me? Don't try to protect him. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm here to see a friend. So, if you do receive any information pertinent to Mr. Klein, give us a call. What, does Hoover teach you guys how to talk like that, or does it come from a manual?
Hey, kid, does food taste better when it's served with a smile? Yeah! Now, didn't your daddy, Reverend Taylor, teach you that in Greenwood? You knew my father? Heard tell of him. Brothers like him and John Lewis, we just carrying on where they left off. Carry on, brother. Feed the people. We'll all get strong. Sounds like something my daddy used to say. Why don't you ask him to give us a hand? We could use all the help we could get. How you kids doing this morning? Good. Where's Huey? Who put him there? The what are we gonna do? few billion dollars and now we have somebody who can walk like howdy doody <sighs> hey bry do you think you have what it takes to go where it's desolate uncharted completely uncivilized by man yeah yeah i think i can handle the moon i'm not talking about the moon Coming in from London, from over the pole, flying in a big airliner, just and flying everywhere around the plane. Could we ever feel much finer? Coming in from Los Angeles, bringing in oh. a couple of keys. How can I describe her? Okay, you know a Dylan song, just like a woman. That's what she's like. Yeah, everybody knows. That baby's got new clothes, but lately I've seen her ribbons and her bows have fallen from her curls. Man, I haven't sang that since I was in a whorehouse in Saigon. Whoa, 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 oh. hey man, you all right? I don't know. You see my old lady? She went that away, partner. That away. Far off. Thanks, man. You guys are more shape than I am. Come on. Come, on, you gotta go. No. What? Get in the Woodstock. Ah, pumping the boonies, my specialty.
get some food. See my lady? Hey. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Have you seen my la lady? Man? Hey. Hey, man. Did you see my old lady? You did? I saw my old lady. Where? We need some help in here. <laughs> okay, I got this one. You okay? You okay? Look, you've taken a little LSD, and it's going to wear off. Okay? We got you. We got you. What's your name, man? Brian. Okay. Hey, let's clean this guy up. Looks like you went a little overboard with the makeup. Mind if I clean you off? You're gonna be okay, all right? My name is Brian. My name is Brian. My name is Brian. <gasps> oh my God, Brian? Brian, it's me. It's me, Katie. all over for you. Katie. <sighs> what happened? Hey, who's this? Michael. 
My name's Michael, too. It's the kids. Take a load off, Fanny. Oh. Put the load off, Fanny. Oh, sweet. Oh, 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 my sweet girl. Oh. <laughs> Who's, this? Who's this? It's Michael Rainbow. Michael Rainbow. I'm your grandma, Mary. And I tend to spoil your ride. <laughs> Chicago 7 continued today after a night of bitter street fighting between the radical weathermen and local police. Nice room. Yeah, courtesy of the Columbia Spectator. Our history to journalism. Well, hey, it's the Chicago 7 trial. I had to see it for myself. Besides, think of the fun we had last time we were in Chicago together. <laughs> yeah. Mayor Daly, swell host. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. How's Kenny? It's not my favorite topic. It's good to hear. Shrimp. No, wait, I remember uh, tuna at Berkeley and now shrimp. There's sort of a seafood theme in our <laughs> relationship. <laughs> you want it? Yeah. You want it? <laughs> I don't think I'm the only one here who knows that we're destined for each other. You know it, too. So what's wrong? Oh, look, you know the kind of relationship I've been in for the past few years. Yeah, shallow and meaningless. I'm serious. When I spoke at Columbia, that was me. You know, that was my voice, and I can't give that up, Michael. I can't. I don't want to be a shadow. That's not what I'm about. I don't want a shadow. You must have me confused with somebody else. Look, I'm just, I'm a mess, OK? I'm not much good to myself right now. I'm sure as hell not going to be any good to anybody else. Look, what I need right now, what I really need more than anything else is a friend. friend?
friend. Um, right, let me just let me give you a little friendly insight, friend. The problem is, it wasn't real with Kenny. He just kept you busy. With me, it's real, and you don't want to deal with that. Look, you don't you don't have to go. Yeah, I do. I've loved you for a long time, Sarah. I might just have to give up. Don't give up. Why? Because... she breaks just like a little girl. I saw her. I saw you to stay here with you or go back to Oakland now. You came to your consciousness out of the Oakland scene. Huey and Bobby took a militant stance, but that was to establish the party. But see, they also started a Roots thing working in the community. For me, that's the most important part. Well, that's what I grew up with. Why are you having such a difficult time trying to figure out which way to go? Let me tell you something. You're not going to find your way back to your papa with hatred. Hatred will fool you. Trick you into looking for the cop who killed him. Trick you into looking for any cop. Trick you into looking for any white man. But come the end of the day, you ain't gonna be any closer to your father. to see And when I look in my window So many different people to be That it's strange Sarah So strange You have to pick up Here, take a hit Note said you were desperate, Kenny. What do you want? What do you think I want, Sarah? Princess? I would have sent you a check. Who are you going to make it out to? Kenny Klein doesn't exist anymore. He was sacrificed for the movement, the cash and carry enterprise now. How long since you've gotten any sleep? High in the prize, remember, Sarah? Yeah, and which is what? Extorting dope money from old girlfriends? That money is for the movement! And you know what? If the movement feels the need to score a lid, then the movement knows best. Remember, Blake, tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of instruction. Remember, Ginsburg. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. What happened to you, Kenny? You weren't just my boyfriend. You were my teacher. And I believed in you. But now... You're a joke. Michael was right. You never cared about people. You only cared about ideas, and now you don't even have any ideas left. Michael. Hey, hold it! Well, I don't know if I can let you leave. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to kill you. So many different people to be. <laughs> that it's Just goofing you. So yeah, go on, run away, my little bourgeois princess. Pick up every stick. 
me, Daddy. I know I should have come before, but I couldn't find my way. I guess I was blinded by hate. Anyway, I... I just want you to know I miss you. And I hope you can see all that I'm up to now. I'm pretty sure for the first time you'd approve. Pray for me, Daddy. Better be serves it with a smile. Yeah! I said, does the food taste better if it serves it with a smile? Yeah! All right, oatmeal. We got oatmeal. Craziest thing. I was just thinking about that uh, a verse from the Marines hymn. You know this one? If the Army and the Navy ever gaze on heaven's scenes, they will find the streets are guarded by the United States Marines. God, I hate that song. God's sakes, Dad, look at me. I, that was another time. I, I'm what war looks like now. Hey. Ryan, you risked your life for another man's freedom. That's a noble thing. Dad, why the hell were we there in the first place? We didn't even know who the enemy was. Okay, so maybe you didn't uh, like what you saw when you got there. But uh, you don't get to pick and choose your battles. I'm proud that when your country called, you went. And I hope to hell that this war hasn't destroyed the honor of that. This is the wrong war for your principles. Son, principles are principles. That's all a man has. You've been asking me questions all morning, and I've tried my best to answer. But there are some questions you haven't asked. Why are we slaughtering innocent men, women, and children in Vietnam? Why are we burning cities, bombing villages, and lying to the American people about it? Why have 40,000 of our soldiers given their lives? I've tried to answer these questions, and I can't. 
And nobody else has either. And unless I can answer these questions, I can't justify fighting in an illegal and immoral war. So I have to decide what I believe right now. I believe peace is preferable to war. I believe love is better than hate. And I believe this war is wrong. Anything else? Yes. I'd like to say something on my brother's behalf. No need for that, Brian. Some of you guys know me. Some of you know my son, Michael. But I don't think you really know him. I... I barely know him myself. When he was a kid, he was so good. He was kind, gentle. He never believed that hurting anyone was a way to win. I even thought he, he might become a priest. Now, I, I don't know what a conscientious objector really means. But I do know what a conscience is. And my son has one. And if his conscience tells him that he cannot fight, it's not because he's not brave enough to fight. It's because he's brave enough to stand up for what he believes in. That's how I raise my kids. That's how you raised your kids. And I hope that you're as proud of them as I am of my son, Michael. Today's a good day. Easy, Dad. What? what can I say, Katie? What can you say? That you're sorry you sent me off to have a baby when I was still just a baby myself? That you understand that you made me feel completely worthless when I needed you more than anything? There are a lot of things you can say, Dad, but you have to say them. Mr. H, what hey. happened to the cubbies? Hey, don't mention that. Hey, think fast. Still got the hands. Sir! 
It's the side of locks. It's that seafood thing again. So much for the ice breaking. And you could make this just a little easier. I don't want to be too easy. What do you want? I want you. What do you want? Hey, Mike, what happened to those beers? This must be Sarah. Hey, everybody, you gotta come meet the love of Michael's life, Sarah Weinstock. Weinstock? What is that? Is that an Irish name? Hey, Weinstock. Go along. Here you go. Yeah. All right. Nice catch. All right. Nice girl. Tight end. All right, everybody, White Stock's on my team. Let's go. Oh,